Let's clap our hands. Glory be to God. Oh, lift up your voice, exalt the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice. Exalt him. Exalt him. Give him all the praise. Jesu mi o ti rani oluwa gba gbogbo ogo Jesu mi o ti rani apa ta yero ye tonight. I want you to lift up your voice as the name of the Lord. Give him praise, give him glory. Give him honor, give him adoration. He's the Alpha, he's the Omega, he's the beginning, he's the ending. He's bigger than the biggest. He's better than the best. He's the reason we are here. We are here to meet with him. Give him praise, give him glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The ancient of days, the great I am. The almighty God. Thank you for bringing light to this place. Thank you for this crusade. Lord God Almighty, we thank you because we know your presence is already here. Do what only you can do. As your word comes, let there be diversities of healings. Let there be miracles. Let there be salvation. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus, awesome, wonderful, glorious name, we are praying. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Put those beautiful hands together as you have your seat. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Especially, I want to appreciate our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboye, whose grace cover and vision that brought this light up to say, I am not qualified to be here. I'm not qualified. So it's a privilege of grace by reason of the vision of our Father in the Lord. I want to appreciate our Father in the Lord, the continental overseer of RCCG Continent 3, Pastor J.F. Odeshola, for giving me this privilege to stand before the people of God to bring the word of God. I want to specially appreciate the pastor in charge of region and all the men of God that are here tonight. I celebrate the grace of God upon your lives. God Almighty continues to bless you in Jesus' name. Tonight, God has brought you here because there is something he wants to do in your life. A privilege tonight to talk on the topic. Light up for a new dawn. Light up for a new dawn. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 to 3. It says, Arise, shine, for your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. He said, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and grass darkness the people. He said, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon you. He said, the Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings, kings shall come to the brightness of your shining. 
In Psalm 30 verse 5b, the Bible says, Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I don't know who I've been weeping for so long. At this light up to say it, your joy has come. I say your joy has come. In John chapter 1 verse 5, the Bible says that the light shines in darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it. I don't care the situation you have been faced with. I also don't care how long it has been. The devil that could not stop you from coming can't stop you from getting your miracle tonight. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. There's someone here under the sound of my voice. You are in a nice season of your life. And it appears as if life is not worth living. But I have good news for you. Tonight is a new dawn for you. In the name of Jesus. Someone hearing me right now. Whether right here or online. I know there is someone. You had a dream. And in the dream. You saw yourself walking with all torn shoes. Shoes. Old shoes and they are torn. The Lord said, I should tell you. God will not only change your shoe. He will not just give you a new shoe. He will give you a golden shoe. And then he will order yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's someone else you had a dream that you were riding an old bicycle in your village. I stand as a mouthpiece of God and I rebuke that spirit of backwardness, that spirit of retrogression. In the name of Jesus Christ, your light has come. Your light will move you forward. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Everyone under the sound of my voice. You have been subjected to rejection. Everywhere you go is rejection. But tonight. That spirit of rejection is terminated. Where you have been rejected. Where you have been rejected. They will call you to accept you. In the name of Jesus, oh, you are changing status from rejection to acceptance. If you believe in short, hallelujah. Glory to God. There's someone under the sound of my voice. You've been longing for a turnaround. You've been longing for a turnaround in your situation. The Lord said, I should tell you, now is your time and your turn for a turnaround. Rise on your feet and say, no, it's my time and my turn for a turnaround. Say it again, now is my time and my turn for a turnaround. If you believe in shout hallelujah. Now listen, people of God. Turn around does not take time. It only takes God. It doesn't take time. It only takes God. From here, God will give you testimony that cannot be hidden. Oh, where others are sharing testimony, you will not be telling stories. You will not be telling stories. Listen, excuse is not good enough. Don't give excuse for God. Don't tell reason why God did not attend to your case. God brought you here to attend to your case. And he will give you testimony. In the name of Jesus. Now the Lord asked me to do what is called prophetic action. And I, and I want everyone to rise up. Rise up. Marika Boseteke Palada. I want you to lift your hand to God uh, as if you want to receive something. Because you will receive something. In the name of Jesus. Father, all these hands are lifted unto you. I ask 
Make this hand the extension of your hand. Lord, make each of these hands the extension of your hand. Let these hands, oh God, let them connect to your blessing. Let them connect to your anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. From today, everything this hand touch will come alive. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. I want you to take that hand. Speak to them and say, my hand. From today, you are anointed for blessing. My hand. From today, you carry light. My hand. From today, nothing good will die in your hand. My hand. From today, you will no longer be empty. You will be filled with plenty. Open your mouth. Begin to prophesy. Begin to prophesy. Begin to prophesy to your hand. Read that verse. Take a moment. Zanta broke. Take a ballad. Lake a broke. Take a maltia. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want you to lay those hands upon your head. Lay the hand upon your head. I speak to your head. I say my head. From today, you will not reject blessing. You will not reject honor. You will not reject favor. My head. You will not accept causes. My head. You will not carry shame. You will not carry reproach. Begin to pray. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Now, I remember a story. A journalist was invited to a place. He used his light to walk into the place. They saw him walk in. Nobody saw him come out. Because he embarked on a journey of no return. I heard of another person. He was going somewhere. Suddenly he had a phone call. And they called him. And he answered the call. He went to see his friend. Right where he was. The building collapsed. And he died. He embarked on a journey of no return. I want you to put those hands, those anointed hands, put them upon your leg. And then you begin to move. Move forward prophetically. Say, My leg. My leg. You will not embark on a journey of no return. In the name of Jesus. You will not take me on a journey of no return. In the name of Jesus. You will go out in safety. You will return in safety. You will take me to the place where I will be honored. You will take me to the place where I will be favored. You will take me to the place where I will be celebrated. You will take me to the place where I will be promoted. My life. You will take me to the right place at the right time to experience the new dog testimony. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, take your, those your hands. Put them on your eyes. Say, my eyes. You will not behold iniquity. You will not behold calamity. You will not see evil. In the name of Jesus. I provide, I say, my eyes. You will only see and experience the goodness of God. Begin to prophesy to your eyes. You will not see evil. You will not see evil. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Now put those hands on your nose. I want you to pray. I just read some days ago a family of four or so they slept in their own house but there was contamination in the atmosphere and they breathed in air and that was the air of death 
I want you to pray and tell your nose. You will not breathe the air of death. You will not breathe the air of sickness. In the name of Jesus, you will breathe the freshness of God's goodness. The freshness of God's goodness. My nose, you will see opportunities that others have not seen. You will smell opportunity that others have not seen. You will not smell evil. You will not breathe in evil in the name of Jesus. If you believe in shout hallelujah. And then put those hands on your body. You know, sickness is not God's purpose for you. If you came here sick, I have an assurance for you. In God, because the God of Pastor e. e. Adeboye has never lost any battle. You will not go back without sickness today. I want to prophesy to your body. Say, my body, you are not meant to be weak and sick. My body, from now, receive strength. From now, receive vitality. From now, receive energy. In the name of Jesus, prophesy to your body. In Jesus, mighty name. We pray. Don't forget, those hands have been made the station of God's hands. So when you lay the hand upon your head, it's God that is laying hand upon your head. Father, at this hand is laid upon their head, and their light has come. Therefore, every sickness, I command you to live now in the name of Jesus. Sadness shall live in the name of Jesus. Amen. You came here blind. Right now, right here, your eyes are open. In the name of Jesus. Father, these vessels are dedicated to you to serve you all the days of their life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Put your hand together for the Lord as you take your seat. Hallelujah. What is darkness? What is darkness? Before I talk about light up, it's important to understand what darkness is. Until you understand what darkness is, you will not appreciate what light is. In Psalm 74 verse 20, it says, have respect for the covenant. For the dark places of the earth, they are full of the habitation of cruelty. That's wickedness. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, the Bible says, and the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was hovering upon the face of the deep. Then the Spirit of the Lord came up. He moved upon the face of the water. Verse 3, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. So what is darkness? Number one, darkness is the absence of light. Darkness is also the habitation or the dwelling place of wickedness, of cruelty, of evil. That's why you hardly see witches and wizards flying in the daytime. They thrive in the nighttime. What is darkness? Darkness is the presence of confusion. The presence of chaos. The presence of emptiness. What is darkness? Darkness is the presence of fear. When they take light, and never takes light, for example, 
the children become afraid. But when light comes, they begin to celebrate. Darkness is the presence of fear. But, but there's something I want to tell you. When you are a carrier of light, darkness is not a threat. Say to your darkness is not a threat to me. Darkness is an opportunity for me to shine brighter and brighter. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I thank God for our father in the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboye, who considered the vision of light up in our whole time. But I want you to know that the first light up in the world on earth was done by God Almighty. The first light up. From where we read, darkness was hovering. Darkness was moving. Darkness was overrunning the earth. And I want to believe that God called a meeting. He just called a meeting and said, Hey, Trinity, we need to do something. If we don't activate a light up, darkness will overrun the earth. Darkness will fill the earth. And the people I'm going to create, gross darkness will be upon them. God said, this darkness will be arrested. And the instrument of the arrest was light. So he activated the light up by the word. And he said, light come. And light came. Darkness disappeared. Tonight, every form of darkness around you, they are terminated now in Jesus' name. Amen. That was why the first thing God created was light. Because darkness cannot show up whenever there is a light up. Darkness can never show up whenever there is a light up. We have light up right now. Darkness can't show up. Because where there is a light up, darkness will give up. I don't know how long darkness has been upon your life. But tonight they have given up. And your glory will show up. In the name of Jesus Christ. So when God was going to do the first light up. What instrument did he use? He used three main instruments. And the three are one. The first instrument is the presence of God. The presence of God. In 5 John chapter 1 verse 5b, the Bible says that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. The second instrument he used is the Son of God. The Son of God. In John chapter 8 verse 12, and Jesus said unto them, he said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. God has brought you here tonight to have the light of life. When you have the light of life, you begin to live the life of light. When you have the light of life, you begin to live the life of light. That means your life will begin to emit light. Wherever you appear, darkness disappears. If you believe in shout hallelujah. So what is light up for a new dawn going to do tonight? When I say light up for a new dawn, I mean that termination of stagnation. Right here, for everyone that has been stagnated, tonight that 
Stagnation will be terminated. And you will rise up and shine forth. What is light of going to do tonight? Is termination of obscurity. You are talented, but you are covered. You are well loaded, but you are not needed. Because there's a covering you're in obscurity. Tonight, as the light comes, it will remove the veil of that covering. It will move you from obscurity. And we cause your glory to show up. Young men that are here, when you are looking for a wife to marry, and you go to a place that is dark, you don't choose your wife in the dark. Because you can't. Beauty is not revealed in darkness. Even if she is Miss Ward. As long as there is darkness, you will not see the beauty. Darkness covers beauty. Darkness covers glory. There's someone under the sound of my voice. You are well loaded, but you are not needed. Because your glory is covered, I stand as a mouthpiece of God. And I command that veil to be removed now. I move you out of obscurity. In the name of Jesus, what we the light do tonight? What will it do tonight? It will arrest confusion. It will arrest confusion. Everyone that you are experiencing confusion, tonight that confusion is arrested. And God is giving you direction. I say God is giving you direction. In the name of Jesus Christ, what will light do for you? Light will terminate the weeping of the night. And will bring joy in your money. In the night that is agony. Agony in the night. You are crying in the night. But God is visiting you tonight. In place of agony, we give you melody. In the name of Jesus, God will give you a new song. God will give you a new name. If you believe in shout hallelujah. I prophesy to you tonight. The God of Pastor E. Adeboye will light you up and lift you up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. What will light up do for you tonight? What does it mean? It means you will experience fuel for your life. We live in a time that discouragement is everywhere. There is hopelessness. Hopelessness. Tonight, because light is the fire for hope, God will fire up your life with a fire in Jesus' name. What will light do for you tonight? It will bring about restoration. Restoration. There was someone that was stagnated for years. There was an embargo upon his life. Embargo. Visa embargo. And he called me. I was preparing for a crusade like this. I just sent a word to him. I said, God, let your presence go ahead of him. Let every embargo be lifted. Let favor speak for him. As he went, God went ahead of him. And that embargo was terminated. They gave him five years multiple visa. Everyone that is under embargo. Tonight, the embargo is lifted in Jesus' name. Yeah. Life brings restoration. There is customized restoration and general restoration. For example, when you have been losing opportunity repeatedly, restoration will come to you tonight. Like the man at the pool of Bethesda. He saw restoration was customized. Jesus came and located him. Gave him his restoration and walked away. Tonight you get your restoration in Jesus name. You are getting restoration of lost time and season. In the name of Jesus. What will light do for you? Light will bring elevation for you. Elevation for you. You'll be elevated in the name of Jesus Christ. Where you are now is not good enough for you. 
The topmost top is where you belong. The Bible says, you are the light of the world. A city set upon the hill that cannot be hidden. It is forbidden for you to carry light. I'll be hidden. Say to yourself, I'm meant for the top. I'm meant for the top of top. Quickly, how do you encounter light? Some time ago, I, I had an online encounter with someone who he was a courtist. He didn't believe in God. I was having a conversation with him. He said I should prove God to him. He didn't believe in God. I went to his profile, saw some occultive things. And then, in my heart, say, God, give him a problem that only you can solve. And then he told me, say, right now I have a problem. And that was on the 23rd of June. He said, if I don't get my passport by 30th of June, I will be repatriated. And the passport is missing. I said, the God who didn't believe in we bring that restoration your way. He could not say amen. But a few days after, he reached out to me. He said, man of God, that God has done it. That God has done it. I don't care what is impossible in your life. God will do it tonight. So how do you connect to this encounter? Number one, you must make up your mind. Make up your mind to encounter light. When you make up your mind, God will make up the rest. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Like blind Bartimaeus made up his mind. He said, nobody can stop me. Today is my day of encounter. Make up your mind. Number two, align your life. Align. Your life with the light of God. Align. Jesus says, I'm the light of the world. Whosoever followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Number three, what do you do? You need to cry out desperately. Desperately. Jabez cried desperately. God changed his story. Hannah cried desperately. God changed her story. Jacob cried desperately. God changed her story. I should cry tonight. God will change your story. And number four, how do you connect? You should surrender to light. Now rise on your feet, everyone. Rise on your feet, everyone. For what on me, oh, Jesus. For what on me, oh, Baba. For what on me, oh, Jesus. For what on me, oh, Baba. Majewa. Back on ma for what on me, oh, Baba, Majewa. Back on ma for what on me, oh, Baba, for what on me, oh, Jesus, for what on me, oh, Baba, for what on me, oh, Jesus, oh, for what on me, Say, my father, my maker. Don't let my care be too difficult for you tonight. Lord, don't let my care be difficult for you tonight. Oh Lord, I am available tonight. Light of my life. Change my story. Change my story. Lord, you are my helper. Help me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I want you to begin to pray. Say, Lord. Lord, help me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, oh God, let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Spiritual restoration. Marital restoration. Financial restoration. In the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration. In the name of Jesus, Lord. 
In Jesus' Amen. mighty name we pray. Amen. God is giving some the speed. I want to present my father, my maker. As I pray tonight, give me speed with ease. Give me speed with ease. Give me speed with ease. In the name of Jesus. The speed that will make you to overtake. In Jesus, mighty name, we pray. There are two things I want to do tonight. And I want you to respond very swiftly and sharply for the sake of time. All eyes closed and all heads bow. My life was a life that was covered with darkness. But in a program like this, God's word came and terminated darkness. I changed my story. If you are here tonight, you are living under the yoke of sin. You are struggling with addiction. You are finding it difficult to serve God. And you want God to change your life so that you can connect with the, with the light of blessing. Right where you are. I want you to lift up your right hand right where you are. I'm going to pray for you right where you are. Right where you are. Right where you are. Right where you are. As your hands are lifted up, just come forward, just come forward. Come, 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 come forward, come forward. As you lift up your hands, come. some of you that are standing there. There's grace in the house tonight. I want you to come forward and go to pray with you. The God that changed my life will change your life. Come, 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 come. I want you to dance forward. If I stretch my hand, it can't reach you. But as you come forward, the hand of God will reach you. It will change your story. For the next one minute, if you are still there, come forward. Your story. It will decide that sin. Some 
Somebody shout hallelujah. If you are there, you can say come. But I need to pray right now. Everyone in front and you are online. And you are submitting your life to Jesus. I want you to lift up your right hand. And say this prayer after me. Say Lord Jesus. Thank you. For your word. That you have brought to me tonight. I have had your word. And I have responded. By stepping forward. Lord Jesus. I confess you. As my Lord. And my Savior. I am a sinner. Only you can save me. Save me Lord. Write my name. In the book of life. Thank you father. For translating me. From the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Now I want to pray for you. Lord Jesus, I thank you for these precious souls. Your grace that brought them, let your grace preserve them. In the name of Jesus Christ. For these ones, every form of addition, every yoke, everything that is oppressing them, I command it terminated in Jesus' name. Now you live here in the newness of life. Forward ever, backward never. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now I want you to look to my right, which is your left. The counselors are there and they will attend to you. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Even as we attend to them. Hallelujah. Now where you are still standing, right where you are, those that gave their life also listen to me where you are there. I'm not going to call you out for the sake of time. But right where you are, you came here with any form of sickness any form of sickness any Jesus is a specialist in healing any and every sickness and Jesus is here right now I want you to place your hand where that ailment is as the light up came by the word as a servant of God, I will release the word of God and it will terminate that affliction and will make you to be clean and whole. If the image is in the eye, put your hand on the eye, wherever it is. Put your hand there. Put your hand there. Lord Jesus, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, Oluwa, you sent me here, I didn't send myself. I connect to the grace upon the life of Pastor E. Adeboe. I connect to the grace upon the life of Pastor J. for Deshola. I connect to the grace of all the great men and women of God in this place tonight. And so I decree every form of ailment and sickness every form of weakness in the body I command you terminated now in the name of Jesus I take authority over the spirit of blindness I take authority over the spirit of fever I take authority over the spirit of leukemia I take authority over the spirit of heart disease wherever you are located I bind you I command the blind be open Someone has infirmity on the right leg, knee. It is he right now. It is he right now. In the name of Jesus. You have abdominal pain. It is he right now. In the name of Jesus. You have marital crisis. Marital crisis. Restoration has come to your home now. Someone is here. You are a business person. You have financial crisis. Receive customer restoration now. In the name of Jesus. For someone, your own is spiritual. You rise and fall, rise and fall, rise and fall. That is not God's plan for you. From tonight, you will go up and stay up. Amen. You will go up and say up in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be the name, Lord. If you believe God has healed you, lift your hands, wave your hand, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. the Lord. Put your heart together for the Lord. Hallelujah. 